or Zubair. Last time on Sailing Balachandra, we finished up at Staniel Key, then we sailed overnight to Georgetown Exumas, Bahamas. I installed some much needed lifeline netting for Zeus, and we checked out the local rake and scrape live Bahamian music in Georgetown. It was awesome. If you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Noelle. And I'm Dan. We're just a couple crazy Canadians. We sailed all the way from Halifax, Nova Scotia to the Caribbean. And right now we are sailing all around the Caribbean. We've come a long way and we have a long way to go. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, just go down below this video and hit the subscribe button. Hooper's Bay right now. Hooper's Bay is really close to Georgetown, Bahamas, where we've been for the last week or so. And I guess there's some really cool turtles here that you can swim with. First, we have to find them. But anyway, it's a beautiful place here. It's gorgeous. Turtle! While having drinks on a friend's boat and saying our own farewells, we were lucky to spot Distant Shores 3 just as they were leaving the harbour for Panama. Distant Shores are true pioneers in sailing documentary, having started way before YouTube and are solely responsible for starting this entire sailing channel movement. It was such an honour to know that we were anchored alongside such legends. Good luck guys. Have a good trip! That's a See you again. We left Georgetown just this morning and here we are. We're sailing at about five knots, almost six knots. It's about 18 knots gusting to, well, we've seen gusts up to 25, but it's about 22. And uh, yeah, we do really well into wind. We're trying to get to Mayaguana, but we only have two days to sail and then we're on to Turks and Caicos. So we got Zeus's paperwork done for Turks and Caicos and we only have a certain number of days to get there before Zeus can be properly checked into that island. From Turks and Caicos, we're going to go to Dominican Republic. That's sailing south. And because we only have two days, we're probably not going to make it all the way. So we'll probably end up stopping either the southern tip of Long Island, not the American Long Island. There's a Long Island here in the Bahamas. It's beautiful sailing. We got the line out. We're trying to fish. We're, just, we're in about four to 5,000 feet of water out here in the Exuma Sound. And very shortly, we will be in the vicinity of Long Island.
Zeus did very well at the vet. We got him neutered actually, so he's no longer breedable. Some of the places that you go to in the Caribbean require up-to-date veterinary certificates. It's kind of crazy because in Canada we really did our diligence and got him all of his paperwork, all of his rabies factionation, rabies titers. It's, it's a long, long list. But here in the Bahamas, if you're going to pass on to one of the British islands like Turks and Caicos, they require that you have a veterinary health certificate that is up to like seven days or something. I think it's seven or ten days recent before you enter those countries. And we did see the vet and we did get our paper and then we were allowed to leave, but it meant that we had to stay in Georgetown for like three weeks. I think we were there almost four weeks actually. That's the realities of traveling in the Caribbean with a pet. There's strict rules in different places you get to. You have to be on top of it, get all your paperwork done. Otherwise, I mean, if you show up at a country and you don't have it done, they might quarantine your pet and that could be for any number of days. I've heard very, very bad things about when your pet gets quarantined. coming around the top of Long Island and it looked like we wouldn't make it all the way down before this bad weather is supposed to hit tonight. We made a decision to go on the inside of Long Island and take the first anchorage which is called Calabash Bay and we stayed there last night overnight. We woke up early this morning and decided to sail down the inside of Long Island which has some shallow spots so we had to make sure we got it on the tide which we did. So we got the sails back up and we're heading down towards Salt Pond and Thompson's Bay and we're gonna head in there and spend the next couple days just hanging out there waiting for the weather to change. So Noelle and I decided to come to shore today here in Long Island and check things out. It's better than sitting on the boat. Uh, the weather's pretty bad, but we were able to get in the dinghy and get it, get it over here without too much trouble. So <laughs> Zeus is just crying because we're waiting for Noelle to buy a few things at the grocery store. Hillside Food Supply is the local grocery store here on Long Island. Uh, it's really close to the dinghy dock, so not too hard to get to. Easy to carry your stuff back. Noelle's just in there now getting us something to eat. Another must stop if you're going to be in Long Island and staying here for any amount of time, you got to come check out Tiny's Bar here on the beach. It's just to the left of the anchorage and right on the beach and not too hard to find. Just look for the dinghy dock. They have a great patio, you can order food, you can have a drink, you can tie up your dinghy. They got hammocks, it's really nice. Next time on Sailing Balachandra, we sail for Calabash Bay, leave Long Island for the beautiful island of Conception. We do some prep for a long passage, and we sail south for either Turks and Caicos or the Dominican Republic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching our video today, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a like or a comment. We enjoy reading those. And go back, check out our other episodes. There's about 50 odd episodes for you to check out. That's 50 episodes for you guys to pick and choose from. That's like, that's a lot. That's half of a hundred. <laughs> And if you guys haven't checked out our Patreon page yet, you should go check that out. There's content on there that you don't get on YouTube. It's there so that you can help support us. So if you feel like, you know, giving back for all the work that we're doing making these videos, that's where you would want to do it. And, you know, just check it out. And if you want to help out, awesome. Every little bit helps. Thanks, guys. See you later. If you're new to this channel, hey, I'm Noelle. I'm Dan. Ha! Oh, my God. I hate that fake shit. That's because it's not fake. I'm laughing at the dog. Ha! Zeus, come here. Come here, Bubble. Okay. All right, go for it. Zeus! <laughs> this is one of the outtakes. Okay. <laughs> Just pick him up. Urgh.